Hey everybody, Scott Burnett here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. Glad to see everybody here today. I hope you're doing well. Let's try, let's try to make this one a quick one today. So in my hand, I have an external SSD. This is just a run of the mill A data, 512 gig, uh, USB-C. There, there you go. Um, what I want to do today is show you how to use the external SSD with a MacBook M1, a MacBook Air M1, to edit videos in DaVinci Resolve. I hope I said that right. A little tired. Um, so what we're going to do, I've got my M1 MacBook Air right here, and I got it plugged into a dock. I'm going to take the external SSD. I'm going to plug it into the dock. Links for all this will be in the description. Um, let me switch screens here. So the drive is nothing special. It's just an SSD. The dock is nothing special. It's just a USB-C dock. But it all works great. I mean, I don't have any problem with it at all. <clears throat> so let's uh, switch screens here and I'll show you my desktop. All right. So what I did, I formatted this drive APFS for Mac OS. You know, if, if you were going to use it in between a, a Mac device and a Windows device, I would probably use e EXFAT for it. But I'm going to show you what's in the drive. So, okay, so my video projects folder is empty. I have a video callouts folder that has my green screen callouts that I created. Uh, if you'd like to see a video on how to do that, it's super simple. My YouTube audio folder, this is just a, a collection of songs and uh, sound effects that I've downloaded off the YouTube library. So that's it. That's all we got right there. So I'm going to open up DaVinci Resolve. This is 1801 build 3. This is the latest one out, I'm pretty sure. So like I said, we're on the 16 gig M1 Mac, MacBook Air. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and open up this test two project. I created it just a minute ago. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna go up to the preferences. So right here next to the Apple menu, right under DaVinci Resolve, we're gonna click, go to preferences. All right, so under media storage, right here, you'll see it defaults to my user folder, my movie folder. I am going to remove that. And I'm going to come right next door to it, hit add. It's going to open up my finder window and I'm going to click my data drive and I'm going to go up to the video projects folder and hit open. Now right here it says the first media storage location in the above list will be used to store gallery stills and cache files. This location should be permanently connected to your system. Well, you don't have to follow that if you don't want to. So what we're going to do, we hit save and it said changes will take effect the next time Resolve is started. Now, the reason you'd want to use an external SSD if you're using some big heavy project files and you want to offload that to another drive so it's not using your OS drive or your OS drive is getting low on space. So that's that's why you, I, I'm sure there are other reasons you'd want to use it, but those are the only two I can think of right at the moment. Like on my Windows machines, I actually use uh, another SSD in those so they stay off the um, OS drive. So what we're going to do, we're going down here to DaVinci. I'm reopening it. We'll hit my test two project, hit open. Love this machine. It is just so fast. I'm going to go up to file. I'm going to go down to project settings. And under the master settings, I'm going to scroll down. And here we have volumes, data, video projects, my proxy media. Now it, it moved my gallery stills to that drive. Now my cache files, I'm going to hit browse. 
go to data video projects hit open and I want all of it going to that external SSD now I'm gonna hit save so that got that much of it now I'm gonna go to my finder window and I'm gonna go find some video I got a folder right here I'm gonna copy it go to my data drive video projects paste and this is four and three quarters gigs 10 seconds and this is not an NVMe drive it is a standard SATA SSD but it works great so now I'm gonna go up here and in DaVinci Resolve I'm gonna go file import import media I'm going to go over here to my video projects folder on the SSD. And here's some GoPro footage. I'm going to take this biggest one here, or one of the biggest ones, 1.23 gigs. This is 265 HVEC footage. Hit open. I'm going to change it to 24 frames. In my media pool, here it is. I'm going to bring it down, drop it. And there's the footage. And that's working off the SSD. That's not off the internal drive. Save. All right. <clears throat> I'm back. I had to take a dinner break. So here I am scrubbing through the footage on that SSD. Some hits in them. I'm scrubbing through the footage and then I'll hit play. Bam. 23.96976 perfect so that is just how easy it can be done that is just how easy it can be done I mean it just everything just works and as everybody asks me why I want to use a Mac all the time it just works <laughs> it's just great I love this thing so I've been using a Mac since 2004, and uh, when I have to run my Windows machines to write software, it's painful. So if you got any questions, leave them down in the comments. Um, I'll have links to several different drives, uh, to several different USB hubs. Uh, the USB hub I have is a Anchor. I think it was uh, $40 something dollars. Uh, it works great. Plenty of ports. Speeds right there. Um, one of the things that I, I, I know if you're doing this for a living, you want it to render out and move things just as fast as humanly possible. But some of the computer setups that I see on video makers, you know, 100, 200,000 for their cameras and computer setups and monitors and stuff. I, it just blows my mind. Uh, but anyway, I hope y'all like this video. Give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell to be notified. Uh, leave me a comment. If you use an external SSD for your video editing or your AutoCAD work or your project files, let me know. I would, I would be interested in knowing. But I hope everybody's doing well today. I hope everybody's had a great day. And like I always say, until the next video... Thanks for watching. Let's go make some video.